What's up guys, DCRC back here with another video. Today I'm going to do an unboxing on the X-Ray XB2 2018 edition. Uh, this is a carpet edition as well. This is my personal first carpet edition I've ever had. Uh, on my dirt edition I did an unboxing. Uh, if you want to check that out, I'll probably link it at the end of this video. Um, so I already unboxed it and then I had the idea I should probably do a video on it so I put everything back in so it probably isn't exactly how I took it out but it still has everything in there so you'll get to see everything that it has with it. Uh, option parts that I got for it are the is the uh, Hootie aluminum servo horn and also the gear cover for the spur gear so it doesn't rub the body so basically just to protect the body a little bit better. Alright, so as you can see here on the box, it made it into the Invitational at Reedy International Off-Road Race of Champions at OCRC for Ty Tessman, as well as Malin Carlson has made it as the Junior Champion, being the only Junior, I think the only Junior, in the Reedy International Off-Road Race of Champions last year. It's a two-time EOS uh, winner and a nine-time national champion uh, as well as the American national champion last year. We flip it over to the other side you can just see it with the body on. Looks nice there with the body on. Alright let's flip this back over and get it out of the box. Let's get the sleeve off of here. Throw that to the side and open this up. So first thing you see here is the instruction manual. I haven't opened this up yet. But you can see that it's the new updated 2018 edition carpet version uh, manual as well, along with some stickers and I'm sure window masks are under the stickers there. And again, these or I haven't said this in any of my videos, but these stickers, every single sticker on the sheet is pre-cut out. So I don't know if you'll be able to see it. But it's pretty nice. So they're clean, cleanly cut out already. You, you don't have to go through the work to do that. Classic Certificate of Authenticity by X-Ray. It basically just has your uh, serial number on it. That's what I use it for. I just keep it so I know the serial number. First thing you see here is the body along with the differential gear diff in there. Got all your pills, uh, rear shock tower, rear arms, rear hubs in there. Uh, looks like a hinge pin in there, drive shafts. All right, and then you got your oils. Here's 500, 400, and let's see if you can see that 5,000 and the Kudi, uh graphite grease. Uh, I'm actually glad it came with 500 400 because that's what I use and 5000. So I do already use 5000 my diffs and 4000 or 400 and 500 in my shock. So that's pretty nice. So I can actually use these oils. Uh, here's a little package that comes with every single x ray kit. It has a spare wheel nut, a spare 5.5 nut, and a few extra screws. Looks like along with the extra bleed screws. So that's kind of nice if you lose one of those. It's either a bleed screw or a uh, hex screw, but it looks like a bleed screw. So that's pretty nice that it comes with some extras for you that don't have extra screws in your box or bag or whatever. It comes with all the bearings in one bag. So it's got all the 5x10s in this tube. And then it's got the little ones are for the steering rack. Uh, the larger ones, the very large skinny ones are for the hubs. Or no, for the diff, sorry. These are for the hubs, I think. And then you have the body here. It is not cut out already, but that's fine. These bodies are super easy to cut out. I love this body personally. It just has a really aggressive look, which I like. I don't really like some of the bodies that are really mellow and smooth looking. It has a x-ray wing. I think this is a one millimeter wing already, so it's not very thin, which is nice, so it'll last a good long time. It's got the front wing here. I assume it's one millimeter, it might be one and a half, but it feels really thick. Either way, I, I use these and they last forever, so a good long time. And it's got mounting positions for 
I think you can see that right there for the shock tower as well as the shock mount. So it's very sturdy on the mount. Right here you got the foam block to adjust your battery. Have the front shock tower there, carbon fiber front and rear shock tower in this kit. Uh, along with it looks like that's the little mount or brace there for the waterfall. Uh, looks like the front brace, front chassis brace in there. Some wheel nuts, servo horns, and maybe some turnbuckles it looks like maybe. Right here you got the front bumper, front inner ball stud mount, front arms, and some hardware in there, as long as along with the knuckles, hexes, steering ackermans. So yeah, looks like that's a bunch of front stuff. Got the wheels here. So the I use these wheels, and X-Ray only makes white wheels. But the reason I use these wheels over any other wheel is just because the the car was designed with the offset that these wheels have, and uh, if you use other wheels, then you have to try to figure out what the offset of those wheels are, and it's kind of tricky to figure out, so I just stick with these, and it's just easy to use. And I love the way they look. They're just dished in a little bit, so they don't have an aggressive look, and I like that a lot. They're just a mellow wheel, which I kind of like. All right here, you got the front chassis brace on the bottom, uh, the side guards, some chassis stiffeners in there along the steering rack looks like that's for that bag here you have the transmission case so the bulkhead the motor plate top shaft uh, the if you don't know the the diff is, or not the diff assembly but the diff case or the bulkhead or whatever you want to call it is in three pieces so it has two pieces that come together for the front top half and then the bottom the full bottom and then this little piece right here covers just the back uh back top so you take i think six screws out or so that pops out and you can get to your diff just like that you don't have to take take the transmission out of your car at all it's just super easy to get the diff out which is awesome that's probably my favorite feature of maintenance on this car Here we have all the shocks, we got shock shafts, shock bodies, springs, uh, all the seals and gaskets, and pistons. And then lastly, we have the chassis, the new chassis for this car. Uh, has new cutouts for flexibility and lightweight. They took out the multi-flex screws in the middle, and along with the uh, uh, arm mounts here, suspension hangers but you can adjust the flexibility by the side guard screws. Uh, in my old car, I would only use those screws along with those screws, so that's not gonna change from my setup. Along with, I only ran this screw, this screw, and this screw in my side guard, so I did not use these center three on both sides to get just get more flex. Uh, a really cool feature with this chassis, it, it has uh, four screw holes, but the further back one, is just to lock in the uh, servo mount but you can move the servo in three different positions so forward and backward so you can adjust uh, the weight of your servo which is pretty cool if you want more steering or less steering which is really nice and then you just have some velcro to uh, mount your body on your side guards for there since this car does not have body mounts along with a lot of other cars on the market nowadays so that is the full unboxing of the XB2 2018 Carpet Edition. I hope you guys enjoyed, and we'll see you guys next time. Peace out.